We've talked about how narrow this has been uh, throughout, and the question is when and if there's going to be a great rotation uh, into some of these cyclicals, get out of some of the big tech, and, and if we're going to do that, um, especially because people talk about a potential vaccine, do you try to do it now or do you, tr or do you wait? Well, I definitely think that there will be a rotation and it will be driven in large measure on when we think there's going to be a viable treatment for coronavirus, whether it's a vaccine or a monoclonal antibody. And once we have that in, in our sites and it's actually been announced and properly tested, I think we're going to see um, a major shift in the economy and small and medium sized industrial companies are going to do better. We're going to see trade open up much more than it has so far. And a lot of this is going to spur the filling of the of the pipeline, which is really, really empty now, Andrew, in terms of like consumer goods. We just uh, published that uh, at City Private Bank. We expect that the actual supply chain is going to uh, empty over the course of the next year uh, and, 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 and until the end of 2020 and only begin to refill next year. You know, basic things, appliances, carpet, stuff like that. So the industrial rebound is really next year's business as a result of all of these things resolving. And we're very optimistic about that. And to answer your question, we think investors should be exposing themselves now to that and reducing their exposure, but not eliminating their exposure to tech, which is very expensive and discounts many of the next several years in terms of what's going to happen in terms of earnings and cash flow. Hey, Joe, what do you think of what David just had to say there? Do you, do you think you jump into some of the cyclicals now? Do you hang on to some of the tech? I mean, part of this is a bit of a timeline story. If you told me that, you know, three or four months from now or even sooner, we really do have a vaccine, given some of the more optimistic takes, you know, may, maybe you move. But if I told you that you wouldn't get a vaccine in earnest where lots of people had access to it till, you know, late spring next summer, I don't know what the move would be. Right. I think, you know, at this point, we've we've seen obviously a disconnect with, with the market and, and the S&P 500 has been trading above what, what we see as fair value. Valuations certainly look extended across the board. So, you know, I think at this point, if we continue to see better economic data and we continue to see optimism on a vaccine, then certainly some of the, the more beaten down cyclical sectors of the market, um, you know, have started to increasingly look attractive. Um, I cover small caps, and, and we've seen that for a lot of the small cap cyclical sectors, even though we've been relatively more cautious on, on small versus large overall, within small caps, you're starting to see some of the more, um, you know, energy, industrials, materials, some of these areas start to look less like value traps and more like a bit better value. So, um, you know, we, we do think rotating into value more at this point does make sense. Um, you know, we're within our broader equity strategy work. We are still equal weight tech. I think that obviously there's a lot of growth in the sector. But we, we do think that the the sector has some some regulatory risk as we as we approach the the U.S. election and it, and it's uh, as as we start to see more crackdown on some of these larger mega cap tech companies from a regulatory angle. Um, but but still lots of opportunity out there uh, in the cyclical space. We think.